Alright guys, we're back with um, Day 2 Community Warfare. Um, did some dropping last night with my clan, Blazing Aces, and found out all the tricks and all the reasons I couldn't drop uh, yesterday. Um, first and foremost, let me show you this. Get in here. Under your faction, if you have a unit leader, as I do, and most people in a unit does, your unit leader has to pick who you're getting contracts with, whether it's Merrick, Steiner, Davian, Karita, Lau, um, or one of the clans. And until that happens, you cannot pick a planet to fight, defend, or anything. It's just not possible. So the end result is you can't play Community Warfare until that happens. If you're a solo player, you pick it on your own and you're fine. Um, if you're not a solo player, and you're in a group, and your unit leader, the one person who founded the unit, can't pick it, you or hasn't got a chance to log in and pick your faction yet, then you can't, not only can you not do community warfare, you can't do basic group drops anymore, or at least as of yesterday you couldn't. Because um, what we did is we tried to form a group, and you know, as our ace of um, leadership here is Fred Sampson in Blazing Aces, he's unit founder and it just took me a while to log on no big deal but um, until then me and a few other guys uh, Lord Cream Puff and I think Star Lancer just wanted to do a couple of drops while we're waiting and I went over here um, and formed a group just like normal created public group and I invited people from my unit as I normally would and it wouldn't let me make a drop now it appears now that that's not a problem you can see now I've got my light heavy assault and everything else and I'm just going to randomly oh, none, none of my guys are online I don't want to invite anyone else so I'll have to trust test that another time excuse me but um yeah that's it looks like it's back to normal where if you don't have a planet picked you just do basic assault basic um, fighting and that's good we don't definitely don't need to be stuck doing community warfare if you don't want to but um there you go that's pretty much what it amounts to and you got your loyalties now something I do also want to point out you can see we're fighting for house merit um loyalty points house Davian wait a minute American Davian I know they eventually had a marriage and merge but that may be an issue and we were wondering if maybe that was just something they hadn't done. So we looked at a few other clicks and, you know, House Davian, okay. So we went to House Davian, and naturally House Davian, but I don't have any House Davian points. So then you go look at Karita, House Davian. Hmm, wow. House Davian. Steiner. See a pattern here? And not only is that bad, but if you go over to the clans, they also are showing House Davian. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, come on, how hard was it to program in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different names here instead of one name? I mean, jeez, people, get a, you know, use a different script or, um, you know, you got a different... Into, I can't think of the right term. I'm tired. I didn't sleep much last night. But, you know, make a different term for each one of these that line up with them. You know, JF, SJ, or, you know, if you're writing this in basic, you would just make it, you know, string A, string B, string C, or for those that don't know what I mean by string, it's dollar sign. And back in the dinosaur days, that has to be possible in this. So, just one of the things that PGI really failed at here. I mean, it's simple, but, I mean, does, do you, does PGI just not do any player testing, any, you know, game testing before they launch? I mean, I know this is a beta, but really? It's just ridiculous. And that's just a small example. You also, um, if you go back to the faction map here, let me go to Intersphere Home. Um, I'm going to click on a planet here. Now, this is pretty cool. You know, you zoom in. And you got your different planets, and it tells you if there's contracts available on these planets. You can click here, and it'll take you to the planet, and it shows you 
you know, the lead contract coordination command on behalf of the free world's military allocate to contract for players assault against the titled world. So, you know, you're being for, being asked to attack this world, and I'm going to zoom back out. You can see where you want to find, and like here, Susano needs defenders, and currently Merrick is being attacked from Lao, and there you go. So you've got one, and you want to try to pick one with your unit that needs defenders. Now, something else that you need to do, let me zoom out here again, and I'm going to zoom in a little more. You can see these are the planets that are actually being fought. And here I'm being asked to attack Elnath. Not sure if that's the right pronunciation. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so they want us to attack Elnath. And that's fine. And it shows the planet. And now you do have... I'm going to zoom back out one more time. Close this. You do have an attack phase um, up here. And this is something we ran into last night. You've got an attack phase... And it runs, it's got a timer and it runs down. And when that happens, when the timer runs down, you will have borders change. They will move slightly one way or the other, and depending on which planet was taken. Now, if you happen to be ready for a drop and you've got less than 30 minutes in your attack phase, it will, instead of show attack phase, it'll show um, ceasefire. And the ceasefire will not let you attack, and you'll be stuck waiting 30 minutes. We ran into that last night with the aces, and we basically didn't know what was going on. You know, there's no instructions here in the uh, patch notes that explained any of this. And, I mean, come on, PGI, you're trying to save this game, and a lot of us really love this game, but if you don't give us something to work with, we don't know what's going on. But anyway, I mean, you can see this is kind of a 2D map. It's not really even a 3D map. There's all the planets are flat, you know, and I mean, I really would like to see a, a little bit more of a 3D map. If you've ever played EVE, you know that they have a 3D map and the fact that some stars are higher, some stars are lower, but they're all still, you know, more or less 2D, but they have some depth to them. And it just gives you a more realistic approach of the galaxy. This is... I mean, how hard would that have been? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overly critical, but I don't feel I'm being overly critical. See here, we need to attack a planet. And I'm not sure what the rules are as far as attacks and defenses, how many has to be done for the planet to um, keep it. But, um, you know, you get some good ideas here, what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, and I guess I can go back to Warwick. Um, when you first pick a planet, you have you, you're being filled with your four max, and for each drop you pick four max, and your weight has to be between 140 and 240, and that's for all four max combined. And what'll happen is you pick your first max for the first drop, whichever one you want to take, and then each time you die, you go back and get your next max. Now, when you first bring this up, it's all trial max. And I think part of the reason for that is they know that some people only have assault, some people only have lights, and they're trying to fill in the gaps a little more. Um, but you can save it, and all you do is you click edit, and then you go through. Now, there's no real logic to this, because these, as you can see, they're not alphabetical, they're not in weight. I mean, Caesar first, and then Jenner, Locust, Shadowhawk, Thunderbolt, Battlemaster. I mean, there's not even any alphabetical order here. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. I mean, you'd think they could fit it, but, you know, basically you go through and you want to replace the spider. Let's say I want to replace the spider with the locust, so I go and pick a locust, and it's done, and I would save. You know, and I'm saved. Now, I'm bringing a locust instead of a spider. Now, I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to edit again and go up and pick my spider, and I'm going to take that spider. Now, I can also bring my other spider. Now... This is where naming your mechs really come in handy. Like, I've got this one named Black Widow because it's all painted black and it's got a peep on it. So it's got a really big bite for a little bitty spider, and I love it. But I don't want to take it... I don't want to accidentally take this one, so I've renamed it. Um, this is my Sarah's Jenner, of course. 
Now, the only other thing you need to keep in mind here is your modules. Um, naturally, I've got seismic on my little spider, but I also need to, would like to have seismic on my Jenner. And you know, a lot of people like to have seismic even on their assaults. Well, now you've got to have seismic for each one. Um, and you know, as you can see, that can get expensive. So that would be another grind issue. Um, if you don't have a lot of sea bills, like I'm right now, pretty weak on sea bills because I've spent my last bit of money getting my king crab functional, which I love, by the way. If you haven't seen my king crab video, I really enjoy that thing. And uh, currently running it with uh, four UAC fives and two medium lasers, and man, I mean, it just destroys whatever it comes up against. I mean, you got a lot of time on target. You're gonna die in it if you're not really a good assault pilot. And I'm a light pilot, so I'm not very good in it. I'm not gonna lie. I get killed in it, but I always do at least one or two kills every single time I bring it out. Because, I mean, you're running 20 hit, you know, 20 points of damage in a UAC format. Just bam, bam, bam. It's fast as can be. So, bringing the only Shadow Hawk I have built, and I haven't even gone through and really picked the mechs I won't I just picked a few to play with and this works and gets me in the weight tonnage so I'm gonna save that because I like that and Lork needs to be attacked so um, basically I've explained everything we need and you can see you know we're supposed to be fighting around Lork and so we're gonna attack and we're gonna hope this works hopefully I don't stay in a queue too long because this is the other issue as you can tell it doesn't show who how many you know, it's just planetary information currently unknown. So I don't know if I'm going to get what kind of map I'm going to get. And I know I'm going to get 65 little two points and a bonus of 50,000 sea bills, which is nice, I guess. I mean, you can buy what? UAV with that? <laughs> the the loyalty points are better. But what would be nice is if you had a queue that would tell you how many people are waiting to attack. Because you can't attack until you get a 12 man. I'm going to show you here now. I'm going to press attack and now I'm in limbo. I'm sitting here waiting and there may be three other guys waiting with me. There may be we may be waiting for one other person. We don't know. There needs to be a little box here or here or somewhere maybe down here that says you know or just show how many people are in it and show they're empty. Don't just wait until we all get 12 and fill in. Just show so we know how many we're waiting on and, you know, maybe we could have, I don't know, this thing, strange things that's been around since the 90s called a lobby PGI. I mean, it's a lobby. Post it up, and we can post in there, you know, Lorik needs two more attackers. Lorik needs two more defenders. Whatever. And so we can go. I mean, I'm really being generous here with, with being nice about all this, but seriously... I mean, I played MSN Gaming Zone in 1999, 1998, and, you know, it was just card games, but you still had a lobby. You could still show, see who needed games, who needed people to play with them, and could talk to people. I mean, it's so easy. Why can't we have a lobby PGI? Still, we can't have a lobby. I mean, this game's been active and published for two or three years now, and we don't have a lobby. I mean, people have made lobbies on the web. There's mwolobby.org or .com, I forget which one it's called. And, you know, fan-made lobbies. Because we love the game, we want to play the game. We're long-time fans, but nothing. So, anyway, this is where what you're going to do now. You're going to sit and you're going to wait. And, frankly... This is what is going to hurt this uh, expansion more than anything right now. Because last night, um, with the Blazing Aces, we had four or five guys that I haven't seen play Mech Warrior in probably months, if not six, eight months or longer. And even, and I mean, if anyone knows the Aces, you know Fred Sampson hasn't played Mech Warrior regularly in probably two or three years years. I mean, it's almost since this went live, he just got so burned out with all the stuff. And with all the video that was published and all the hype, you know, he was really interested in it. And he got in it and he played and then we did this. We sat and we sat. And, you know, I think we waited 
one time we waited 15 minutes to get a match. And, I mean, I don't want to wait this long. I want to know if I'm waiting for a reason. I mean, I may decide I want to just play a game and not sit here waiting. I want to do Community Warfare. I want to play this new mode. I want to show y'all on this video what the new mode looks like. How nice it is. And everything else. But at the moment, I'm not going to be around for a long time. I'm not going to have, you know, hours to play. I'm probably going to leave here uh, in about 20 minutes or so. And I would like to get a quick match in, at least. <laughs> you know, but so, I'm waiting. You can see the clock go. There, go, there it goes. You know. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? And I just found out that I think I'm broadcasting to the wrong channel. <laughs> I think I'm broadcasting to our Blazing Aces channel. Nice. Well, I'll upload this to the YouTube channel then and leave it on Blazing Aces. But this is, I mean, I'm a Blazing Ace, so it's okay to have it on there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But, you know, I mean, even better, since we're talking about the Blazing Aces. Um, what happened last night, I might as well stay with it. Because I just found out I'm, you know, I am bro broadcasting on the Blazing Aces channel. Um. It happens. I've got, you know, I managed two channels here and I didn't double check my, my uh, key. So, oops. Sorry. Someone doesn't like it. Tough. But you'll see this on Mike's games. I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel. I'll probably upload it either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I may even upload it right before I leave, depending on how, how fast this goes. But yeah, um, this is what I was talking about, though, because, you know, last night, uh, Victor Morrison was on, Fred Sampson, uh, Mike Angelo, Star Lancer, Lord Cream Puff. Um, Sorry if I'm forgetting anyone else. I know there was a couple other guys on there. I just can't remember their names off the top of my head. Who else was there? But, you know, we had about a seven-man group, and we all wanted to try this new game, and here we are sitting, waiting, 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 waiting. I mean, I don't know. There could be a drop going on right now on this planet. Lord could be being attacked right now, and we could just be stuck waiting for the next drop. There could be, you know, it could be currently being bombarded right this minute. And how am I going to know? There needs to be some more information on the PGI. There really has got to be some more information. So, that's the basic overview. I guess I'm just going to let this run and uh, go from there. So, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? Okay. Anyway, um, what else do I say? I mean, I can just talk and talk and talk on and on. I don't know what good it'll do. I can't play music because it'll YouTube will flag that, as you know. YouTube flags everything, it seems. <clears throat> So, um, I was trying to think what else, um, I am plan thinking about, not planning on, but thinking about, um, doing a 21 day free trial with Eve and trying to try and Eve again. I haven't played Eve in a few years. I used to play it semi-regularly, I guess. Um, I have ma mainly was I had issue paying a monthly fee to play a game, but Eve is so good. I really keep getting drawn back into it every time I play. But um, if I do that, I'll do a 21-day trial and just go over the whole game in its current state. Um, show you what it's capable of doing. I know there's limitations on the trial accounts. And that will... Um, I know you cannot get a Hulk or any type of major mining vessel. And if memory serves, you can't buy um, past a destroyer. You might be able to buy a cruiser. I have to check. 
Because typically you can buy the um, the ship, but you can't buy the module to learn how to pilot it. That was the, the uh, limitation, and I might look at doing that. Um, well, I mean, here we are going on, what, almost eight minutes now. And I'm just supposed to be willing to sit here and wait. This is the absolute biggest trouble right here. And PGS got to fix this. People are not going to put up with this. And they're not going to put up with it long. I mean, the game's been in launch mode. This, frankly, this beta app, this Community Warfare being released in beta, they should have made it an opt-in scenario for those that wanted to try it out with that way you didn't have so many people trying it and getting disappointed they would have a better chance it would have prevented less backlash on this I mean all I don't know what else to say I'm sorry if I'm just griping about this I just don't know what else to say on this this is getting to the point of ridiculous for a lot of people I mean we had guys last night that were so happy and by the end of the night they were flat out saying they were not going to be coming back anytime soon because of this. I mean if if you think about it, we're a relatively small group right now. We've had some defections in the past, that's a good way to put it. I won't get into the details of the what's going on. Anyone that's been with the group currently or in the past knows what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, in right now, we still are standing at basically 21 pilots that are registered in MechWarrior Online that have bothered to log in to MechWarrior, bothered to, to be an ace and set Blazing Ace and want to be in this game if the game is good enough. And right now, we've got probably three guys, myself included, that like this game enough to still drop and do pub drops and want to play. Now, if you take that into consideration, we're a small group, 21 guys, only three of which want to actually do it. I mean, that's only 14% of our roster. So, if think about that. If currently only 14% of Mech Warrior pilots are actually dropping, that's huge. That is a huge player base that PGI is not bringing back, and this right here is doing nothing but making you want nothing but making you want to um, not come back. I mean, I sat through the pug drops when we were doing the leagues, and you know where we were trying to sink drop, and you'd get a missed hit, you wouldn't get a match. Um, you get another team that was trying to sink drop the same night, and you both have to either suicide or you both have to um, bum rush fight or something. And, you know, we would spend three, four hours trying to get three matches in, maybe four matches in. It just wasn't always possible to do it. But now that this is automated, we can't even talk to each other. I mean, I don't know who's on this other team. I don't know if I'm the only guy attacked. I have no clue. But it's really going to be frustrating for a lot of people. And, I mean, you could at least queue yourself up. That would be also good. To have a queue where you queue yourself up for a drop, and it gives you an estimate of, okay, this planet's currently got a drop going on it. And we're going to wait for the next 30 minutes or 20 minutes to pass. You've got a 15-minute timer that shows up in the corner of your screen, or maybe even a 20-minute timer or whatever. And you can either go do something, or you can pug drop. You know, something to keep you going, because what are you supposed to do? Not pug drop? Not do anything? I mean... I, the only thing I can do right now is go watch some videos, maybe text some people, get on Facebook, whatever. I mean, right now I'm got, I'm watching a one of my YouTube videos process, which isn't a big deal, but it's not definitely not time consuming. But I'm just waiting for it, so keeping that screen open. I'm looking at the Aces website, going through the forums. That's really exciting, considering there's no new posts to read. 
at this exact moment. And that's it. I mean, I can go to my Facebook page, but see if there's any messages or anything. That's not really enough to keep me occupied. So, I mean, I'm a diehard. I mean, I've been, anyone that knows me knows I've been playing this game for freaking ever. I mean, I was founder. I haven't ever stopped playing MechWarrior since the beta days. And no, I didn't play Alpha. I didn't get in for Alpha, but I got in as a founder. Um, got my, I think, I, I forget which mech I even brought in because I didn't get the four mech pack. I only got one. But, you know, I think I brought a, got a catapult now that I think about it. And you win. That's a founder, spent money on that, sat through all that, went to the um, Phoenix package and bit the bullet on the Phoenix pack package and said, wow, you know, I really want these mechs. Not so much the Locust, not that I didn't love or hate the Locust, it was just, you know, it was a little mech, but I saw they had the Shadowhawk, which is classic mech warrior, I mean, especially from, if you're a mech warrior fan from mech warrior one like I am. Shatterhawk was one of the mechs, the medium mechs that was just brutal if you had to face it because of the way the guns worked on that game. And it just tore you up. And then there was, you know, Battlemaster. I mean, Thunderbolt, I didn't really care about. You know, it wasn't an iconic mech for me. But the Battlemaster, I mean, the Battlemaster was just the god of all assault mechs back then. And I got it. And I spent the money on it, you know. And frankly, I've played with my Shadowhawks, and I've played with my Locust, the uh, Thunderbolt, the Battlemaster, no one uses. Literally. I mean, who do you see really fielding those on a regular basis? You don't. So, I wasn't very happy about that, but, you know, I'm going to keep them. I'm not selling off my mechs. I've, the one time I've ever sold off mechs, I ended up needing them later, and ended up going from being a useless mech to a really good mech. And I'm not going to have that happen. So I'm keeping them. And I'm keeping the mech bays. Uh, I used all my premium time. You know, thankfully. I made good use of it. Um, when we were doing some ladders. And it came out good for that. And I was happy about that. But I'm not spending any more on this game until I see a lot more improvement. I mean, I've been rattling my mouth here now for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Waiting. What am I supposed to do for 15 minutes? I could have watched, hell, 15 minutes. I could have watched an episode of Dragon Ball Z by now, almost. I could have watched a couple of YouTube videos. I could have done a pug drop, complete, total pug drop by now. And I'm just twiddling my thumbs here. I mean, this isn't entertaining for y'all. It's not entertaining for me. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to do this? I don't know. You know, I'm not really very happy about this and I'm trying to be positive about this new war community warfare and obviously if we had a 12 man group on we'd be right in and we'd either get a, a free attack or it'd be done or something how long am I supposed to sit here I just don't know And right now I'm just talking to someone on Facebook just because I need to take care of this. But I'm really ready to just stop this video at this point. And I'm sorry. I want to show everyone the, the game. I want to show them how it works.
anyway, guys, um, I'm almost afraid to get a drop now. I do. I didn't have a lot of time left, and well, now I don't have hardly any. Uh, if any, uh, anyone was listening, feel free to message me on this while you're on Twitch. I see a couple of people on here. Um, so, I don't know what else to say. I mean, 18 minutes. 18 minutes, people. 18 minutes just sitting here. Let me look at the forums. See if there, any of this has been addressed. Let's see here. Forms. Um, training grounds. Community warfare. No issues in frequently asked questions. Community Warfare Lobby does not appear to be populating. Answer. The player list in Community Warfare currently does not reflect the number of joined players until all 12 slots have been filled. Yay, like we didn't know that. All the faction achievements show description how stable the fix for this will roll out with our next patch. My frame rates are dropping way too much. Yeah, I did have some frame rate issues, and yesterday I had a hell of a lot of ping issues. Um, my ping was running 600 at one point in this game. It was insane. If you watched uh, the videos I published yesterday, you can, you'll can you see that on the uh, Blazing Aces channel. And, I mean, I was literally shooting things and I could see the PPC go through them and not getting hits. And then I was getting hit by stuff I couldn't even see. Let's see here. Spawn without a HUD. For now, you should be able to restore the HUD by powering down and powering up your mech. Uh, yesterday, I had the, sa that, the HUD issue. And I did that, and I got my target reticle, but I still didn't have um, my weapon screen where it showed the different weapons and the different weapon groupings. So that's not fixed. Um, anyway, there's people talking about different things. Yeah, I don't know what what all else there is here. People say they're getting 12 and 15 FPS is when they were getting 55 and 60. I mean, I've get, I get up to 80, 90, I've even got 120 before in this game, and I was getting FPSs down in the 30s, so, you know. They really needed a lot of work on this. And this guy says, LOL, over 20 minutes waiting time for a match. Freaking awesome, almost an episode of American Dad I could have watched. See? And here I am at 20 minutes. You weren't missing much. I'd rather play solo group queue until they spend some time correcting the game modes and its maps. And that's my buddy Capper, actually. Legendary founder. And I want you to... I'm going to show you something here. Hang on a minute. I'm going to show you this. Um, let's see here. Okay, here we go. And if this does what it's supposed to, you should be able to see... Um, it's not doing it. What in the world is going on here? It's supposed to just go on top of each other. I've done it before without issue. Oh boy. Properties entire window, that's what I want. Okay, there we go. Partly. Let me finish, I can finish fixing this. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right, because I'm using this on a smaller monitor, that's why it's showing up that way. Um, 
anyway, uh, you can see here what I'm talking about. I mean, look at the people commenting, okay? Scroll up to the stop. Okay. Phoenix Overlord, so they spent money. Uh, no one. Veteran Founder and Phoenix Overlord. Phoenix Overlord, Legendary Founder, Phoenix Overlord, Legendary Founder, Phoenix Overlord, Legendary Founder, Legendary Founder, Legendary Founder, Legendary Founder. Obviously, there are some, you know, you're getting the diehards of this group coming out for it, and no one's caring. I mean, I'm at 23 minutes, and I'm going to have to go, guys, but I am sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. So, I don't have a choice. I've got to get get out of here. And I wanted to do a whole match, and I can't. So, that's it. We're done, and I've got to go now. I've got some place I've got to be, and I, I spent this time. But look, here it is. 23 minutes, 40 seconds, nothing. So, that's the end of this game, such as it was. At least you got an overview of it, and I'll try again to show you how the gameplay works or um, just go to the Blazing Aces channel and watch some of our gameplay there. I'm going to put a, I'm going to do an edit video. I'll put, that's what I'll do. I'll uh, crop a video tomorrow and show the last match we had. That way you can see how it works. All right. I'll see you. Talk to everyone later.